Hey there Seekers, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. Just calling in with a few small announcements before we head to your reading. The first one being I've now completed all of the 2021 overview readings so you can head to the playlist which I will put up here if I can figure out how to do it. <laughs> so you can go over there and find your reading to see how the year may shape up for you. Um, the next readings that I'm going to be working on is the January monthlies and of course I always um, launch and post the uh, weekly readings on Thursday 11pm Australian time. Now I'm doing a giveaway this week guys. I am giving away this beautiful print from Danielle Knoll Art. It's art, of course, subjective. It's not going to be everyone's taste, but I personally have this one in my office where I edit my videos. And it's actually a print from one of the um, tarot cards from the Moonchild Tarot deck, and it's called Shadow Work. So it's always my reminder to keep looking in my dark corners, the parts of myself that I may not want to look at and see, and I may have disassociated from because so much of our power of transformation is found in overcoming those of working in them and healing them and exposing our shadow side so if you would like your very own print of this and I'm not sponsored although I wish I was Danielle if you're listening feel free to sponsor me um, or be an affiliate make me an affiliate um, all you need to do is put a comment below giveaway now what I'd like you to do is to think about how this year you can begin working on your shadow aspects and you don't need to share that below because obviously it's going to be personal guys. Just put the word giveaway below and I will select somebody to be the winner and I'm going to post this anywhere in the world. So if you'd like one in your office, in your bedroom or your personal space where you, you know, do your own readings, um, your own rituals, then just comment below. So guys, um, that's all I had to say. Just wanted to call in, wishing you a wonderful week, and we'll head to your reading now. Hi there, Libra. Welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. This is going to be your weekly intuitive reading for January 18th to 24th. Libra, let us see what... <clears throat> Hi there Libra, this is going to be your intuitive weekly reading for January 18th to the 24th and let's see what is literally on the cards for you. I'll be getting started with my favourite oracle, the work your light, then drawing you a lead tarot card from the Moonchild tarot. We'll then get out the tarot positions with the right of eight, clarifying today with the Star Child tarot. So let's see Libra, what messages want to be seen by you. Okay, we've got take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. You know, a constant reminder for many of us to spend less time doing and more time being. That's when we connect with our intuition as well. So it is important for us all. And I have counsel of light, divine orchestration and helpers in the subtle realms. You know, there are times where we feel like there's not enough progress, not enough movement. Where's our soulmate? Where's that job opportunity? Where's my break? Why am I not receiving the abundance that, you know, I desire? Sometimes, guys, you know, the strings are being pulled behind the scenes, the stage is being set. Maybe there's some key lessons in where you are right now, which is why you're experiencing that. Sometimes, you know, they, well, as they say, <laughs> the night is darkest before, before the dawn, right? Sometimes it's just about to change, just about to break through, and we have to trust that. We have to trust the path and trust that divine plan and understand that angel spirits guides, you know, are there helping us, helping us orchestrate it. We do have free will, guys, so it's possible to change our timeline or, you know, take a slower route and that kind of thing, but... We usually get signs of redirection. You know, it's the sometimes it can be the synchronicities, it can be those tower moments that seem so unfair at the time. But maybe, just maybe, you know, we're being shifted and we have to trust. We have to trust and surrender, but also take the inspired action that we feel is right for us. So let's get out your lead tarot card. There it goes. Queen. Of swords and Libra that's your energy so this is about coming into power here the Queen of Swords is a real you know visionary she sees the big picture and by stepping back and seeing the big picture getting all the information getting all the details she can make really good really sound strategic movements forward she's a truth seeker she wants to make decisions that are in alignment with her deepest truth 
She is really in favor of honesty, integrity, and operating that way. I mean, it's your card, Libra, that, you know, you are the energy of justice in the major arcana. There's a sense of wanting to bring yourself back into karmic balance here, a victory to be claimed. There may be a key communication that's on your heart that you need to have. But generally when, you know, when the Queen of Swords would come up in a Libra reading, this is about you coming back into your power, getting your energy back, getting back, you know, getting back on that throne of justice, what you do well, acting with all of that balance. Let's go to the tarot story here. Libra, I'm drawing the energy of the recent past. Energies leaving, completing, and transitioning. If this is your reading, I have got two. I'm just fumbling them. I have got the Emperor, number four, in the Major Arcana, and I have the Three of Cups. Let's go for the current focus energy. There it goes. I have got the star, Aquarius, in the major arcana. It's a beautiful energy. And balance, yes, a six of pentacles with the scales. So it kind of links to your Libra energy here. And I have another number six at the end of the deck, the six of swords, which is a transitional energy. Maybe a moving away, maybe a moving towards. Let's clarify. Clarifying the king of, not the king, the Emperor with the Three of Cups. I have the Eight of Swords. Clarifying the Star. I have got oh, Justice. Yeah. <laughs> You're coming to power, Libra. I mean, your energy is all over this reading. And clarifying the Six of Pentacles. The Empress. Wow. So you've got four major arcana here and generally Libra the more major arcana in a reading the more kind of pivotal the message is. I've got the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. All right well let's jump in. We've got quite a lot of energies here. We've got the seven and eight of swords which is interesting. The emperor and the three of cups. Yeah look I'm really feeling I mean, the Seven of Swords can be the energy of, of betrayal, but together with the Eight of Swords, I'm really feeling that it's more your own doing here, right? It, it, for some of you, it can be dealing with others, but it can be that real energy of mental sabotage, of holding yourself back. And I'm feeling some kind of, of power play, power struggle. For others of you, it could have been in the workplace, you know, literally too many people vying for the opportunity or for a promotion or something like that. But the Eight of Swords is really that energy of I'm stuck in the mind and, you know, it's that overthinking, overanalyzing or slipping into the victim mentality that holds you stuck and bound, right? That begins to sabotage your opportunities. That's why we need to be really, really mindful. The Eight of Swords for me is an energy of because of the overwhelm and the overactivity in the mind, we are um, quietening or not able to listen to the intuitive centers. So we need to take that break in order to recalibrate, to be able to hear what our soul might be really asking us to do, which could be fundamental to the divine orchestration, which may have you transitioning in some way, but maybe at the moment you can't hear it because there's just too much going on in your mind. That really is that energy. Now with the Emperor and the Three of Cups, I mean, the Emperor is an energy of getting back in the driver's seat of your life, stepping up. And that was kind of what I was thinking with your energies here that are showing in the reading. You've got both your major and minor arcana. It's a real coming to power this week, getting back into the driver's seat. And the Emperor is about laying a new plan, a new foundation in order to reap the harvest, Three of Cups. The Three of Cups says that you may have been, um, maybe you've already been doing this, maybe it's throughout the end of 2020 or, or longer, you might have been working towards something, sowing the seeds of the new plan, right? And what it's really saying here is that soon, and I'm kind of thinking it's with that Empress down the track here, you're going to start seeing the results of that. So keep going. If you are starting to feel in your mind, you know, it's been too much hard work, I've, I've invested so much time, effort, energy, money, whatever it is for you, into it might be a relationship, it could be a job, it could be a new creative venture. And if you're just not seeing that, just keep going, because I really feel 
that things are about to shift and you might be on that real pivotal um that pivotal edge you know towards that the three of cups is a real energy of you know the worst is over the winter is over and you are you know the summer is here you're actually beginning to to celebrate the harvest bring more joy into your life and the things that you have been trying to manifest are starting to materialize and that's the message of the empress that's coming so if you have been planning something it's starting to starting to happen it's starting to to pay off here now justice and the star powerful combination here in the major arcana libra and aquarius and we will be soon moving in to aquarius season right in um, february so what i'm really thinking is that the tables are going to turn in february for you so if you have been waiting for ages for to see the harvest, to see the results of your achievements, I really think that February is when your divine wishes slowly begin to, to come true or you begin to see that harvest, right? That's you coming into power. That's those karmic scales coming back into balance where you feel like you might have been in a bit of lack that has been causing you some stress. Maybe you've just had to put in a lot of energy and you're feeling a bit burnt out. That's why you're being asked to take a break. Justice is coming in February. For others of you, this could actually be a justice situation after a Seven of Swords moment where we feel like we were taken from or cheated or betrayed. I have to say it, guys, because I'm covering many bases in a general reading. If so, I really feel that February is the month that you get your sense of justice and things come into balance. And for some of you, that means there will be legal proceedings. Uh, it can be, you know, court action. It can be getting legal advice. Um, divorce, separation, property agreements and sales and all of those kinds of things. It's the real tying up of the loose ends of the past of a situation that, that, may have, um, that may have held you bound is what I'm feeling. That's just for some of you. For others of you, this is really, you know, justice over the investment of energy into a situation and it's starting to pay off. And there's a great sense of victory here for you. This is your card. Things are coming into balance. You're stepping into your power. There could be some vulnerability, obviously. We can feel vulnerable when we're going through those. This is a real opportunity to tip out the emotional charge of the past and get focused on the future. Dreaming big. The future is bright. You know, have hope, have faith. You're getting grounded again. You're recalibrating. You're going through a rebirth. Things are starting to even up. The score is starting to settle. Oh, look at this, the outcome. Double number six is number six in tarot is about balance, of course. Joy, love, harmony, peace, smoother sailing. You're moving towards a calmer time where those high emotions are dissipating, right? There could be a physical transition for some of you, a move, some travel, Either way, I'm feeling this transition is really evening things up for you and you're getting ready to receive again where I feel that there was a period where you didn't receive opportunity, you didn't receive money or you didn't receive love, whatever it is for you. It's coming back into balance. It's a huge theme in this reading. Now, the Empress is the card that says whatever it was that you were trying to get off the ground, the seeds that you have planted, even over the last year or beyond, are starting to materialize. She is the energy that is fertile, that wants to bring your dreams and desires to reality, to birth them into the physical and tangible. Um, of course, she's the three that links back to the three of cups. I mean, she's a great blessing when she comes into a reading and she stands for abundance. And if it's money and it is sitting next to the six of pentacles, she can be an increase in your, in your finances as well. She's also the embodiment of the Divine Feminine and um, is coming back to that take a break uh, card there. This is about taking a pause, moving with your natural cycles, stepping out of the masculine, which is all about pushing and doing. I think you've laid the foundation, you've done the hard work and there's a certain amount of surrender that needs to happen now to allow things to unfold, to allow yourself to receive. You know, sometimes we do, there's too much action and we're pushing too hard. So it's really saying here that things are going to start coming in for you. Take the rest that you need. Listen to your intuition. The scales are coming back into balance here. I really feel that maybe last year you have felt more like the bigger of life, you know, getting breadcrumbed or not getting the abundance that you really desired or, or for the effort that you've put into something. 
but it's really saying here that it is going to to start to, to materialize and that could be metaphorically the transition I'm feeling less of the physical moving away energy here I'm really feeling that whatever the shift is it's it's allowing you to transition in your life away from that seven and eight of swords mental energy of nothing's going anywhere and, and the sabotage into a place where you're just more peaceful and open and of course when our energy is in that in that state we really just start to receive even more right because it's the, it's the law of attraction um, we're not going to to receive when we're really in that um, seven and eight of swords energy so that's what I have for you, Libra. It's a real coming to power and tables are finally turning for you. I think February is a really pivotal month. It might just be a little longer to go. You're really close. Divine orchestration is at work and don't be afraid to, to take a little break if you haven't already. Okay, Libra, well, I'm going to leave it there for you and I do hope you enjoyed this reading. Please keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective, which means it may or may not be a reading this time around. Sometimes the whole thing resonates, sometimes pieces, sometimes none at all, and that is absolutely okay. Drop me a comment if you're called cool to share. I do read them all and I try to respond to as many as I can, guys, and um, just find it helps me get to know you, connect with the energy and see what's happening out there in the collective. Libra, it's been a pleasure once again. Wishing you a beautiful week. See you next week for another one. Bye for now.